Hey guys, welcome to this video on how to install the AdventureWorks um, sample databases from Microsoft onto your Windows uh, computer or PC. Uh, this will be a step-by-step -step guide uh, using SQL Server 2019 and SQL Server Management Studio. If you want to know how to um, install either of those on your Windows computer, you can watch my video. I'll link it in the top right corner. And apart from this, if also if you're interested in learning SQL, or more specifically TSQL, which is Microsoft's flavor of, TS, of SQL made specifically for SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio, you can check out my um, playlist, which again I'll link in the top right corner. Please do support this channel as it helps me to continue making videos like this by liking and subscribing. So to uh, begin the process, we go to our browser and we search AdventureWorks um, sample databases just search in any browser and you should see a Microsoft link popping up first with the AdventureWorks sample databases so select that and uh, just have a look around and if you scroll down a bit you should see a table with the list of um, AdventureWorks database backups so .bak files are backup files and you see there are two types of files, which is OLTP and data warehousing. So data warehousing is OLAP and uh, normal databases are OLTP. So uh, these are a data warehousing concept. Um, one is the transaction processing and one is analysis processing. So um, they're slightly different, but for now we'll focus on the data warehousing and we'll choose data warehouse 2019 and we'll download it. And you can see I've downloaded it and I've skipped the uh, the downloading process so once it's downloaded uh, you can uh, show show the show the file in the folder copy the file which you've downloaded it should be a dot bak file just copy it i blocked it because i have some personal stuff there um, and then go to your local disk c drive go to your program files and then you should see microsoft sql server in there open microsoft sql server and open this last file mssql15.mssql server again open this mssql uh, folder and open backup sometimes you might need to enable permission and paste your uh, the file you downloaded here the .bak file so once this is done uh, you can go to sql server management studio i've already opened it and kept and you can see your server and under server you can see your databases so what you want to do is you want to right click on databases and choose the restore database option so once you've done that a window should open a restore database window and in the top left you'll see no backup selected to be restored so you go to source and then you change it to device and then you see a search bar and then you see three dots so click on the three dots and in the select, select backup devices, you click on add. Once you click add, it should automatically take you to that backup file location where we had pasted the uh, database we downloaded. So we select the database we downloaded. It should uh, look selected and then click OK. And then we see it comes into the, it's added into the select backup devices. And here again, we click OK. And then Finally, we see in the restored databases page, we see the data, the backup file which we had downloaded. Click OK again and it should restore the database and you should see a success message. Close this message and then now in the object explorer, you should see the, the, the same backup database that you downloaded. So we can see AdventureWorks DW 2019 with all its tables and etc. And now we'll just execute a new query to see that everything's working and everything's connected properly and there's no errors so this is just a, a sim simple select and uh, statement from one dimension table and one fact table is what we're going to do if you want to learn more about dimension and fact tables i'll be making a, a video about database fundamentals a little further down the line and please do subscribe to the channel to stay updated as and click the bell icon to know when our new videos release so you can see that we are getting outputs from these tables. This was a dimension table which showed sales territories. And 
now we can go and try uh, selecting data from a fact table so yeah we're gonna just use the currency rate fact table and we select and execute that statement so you can see that um, the AdventureWorks database is now available to us and working properly. So this was the process to download it and get it set up on your SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio on Windows PCs. So thank you guys for watching. Please do remember to subscribe to this video, like this video and comment below if you need any more help or what you would like to see. Uh, thank you again.